chance to win with Destination Celebration, Friday at 9 a.m. on KTLA 5. You're the people who make junk disappear? We brought a whole truckload of magic. What if you got junk? I love you. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Watch Off the Clock, weekdays at 2 on KTLA 5. Now at four, a murder suspect is now under arrest in connection to a deadly shooting during a follow home robbery. Good afternoon. This is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. And hi there. I'm Courtney Frail in today for Pedro. The shooting happened on Tuesday night in San Dimas and left a 42-year-old father dead in his garage. Today, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department released new information about that suspect and the arrest. KTLA's Rachel Menetoff is live in downtown L.A. with more. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Sam. Hi, Court. Sheriff Robert Luna said today the victim was followed home from a charging station in West Covina, and the suspect's license plate was captured on camera. Earlier this morning, that same car, the suspect's car, was spotted in Beverly Hills, and the man behind the wheel taken into custody. L.A. County Sheriff Robert Luna announcing the arrest of 33-year-old Jared Joseph Powell in connection with the murder of 42-year-old Nicholas Simbolin, who was fatally shot this week during a follow-home robbery. When you get to a scene, you just start playing it backwards, and uh, they start looking at every avenue. Authorities were called to the 1800 block of Hawkbrook Drive just before 7 o'clock Tuesday night where they found Symbolin in his garage suffering from a gunshot wound. Some of his personal belongings had been taken too. We have seen countless videos and news coverages of individuals who have been traumatized by robberies and having guns and weapons pointed at them. Uh, it is unacceptable uh, for our community members uh, to be threatened in this manner especially while driving in a safe place like their homes or businesses. According to LASD, the suspect followed his victim home from an electric car charging station in West Covina. Surveillance cameras captured the suspect's license plate, which was shared with area police departments. Beverly Hills police ultimately spotted the car in question Thursday morning at Santa Monica and Rexford and apprehended the driver. A gun was recovered, which seems to match the weapon used to commit this crime. Nicholas Simbolin was a 10-year LA County employee. He worked for the chief executive officer as a project manager in the IT department. He was key into developing applications, software uh, that helped to propel the office forward and also to help us meet our mission to deliver services to citizens and residents of LA County. Tim Boland's aunt Fanny Prentice spoke with KTLA outside of the family's San Dimas home, describing her nephew as a loving husband and father of two young children. I cannot even express my feeling how devastated we are right now. Yeah. The last time they saw one another was at church services over the weekend. Why it's always happened to a good man, you know? So, and the two little children, they're so young. And the wife, you know, how are they going to live their life without their father? We don't know why Nicholas Sambolin was targeted. LASD says it believes that this was an isolated incident and that the suspect acted alone. It also tells us it does not believe that the suspect knew Mr. Sambolin personally. We're live downtown. I'm Rachel Menatoff. I'll send it back inside to both of you. Rachel, thank you so much. In other news, at 4 o'clock, a woman has been charged with murder in the shooting of Hollywood executive and a social activist, Michael Latt. Police say 36-year-old Jamila Mitchell forced her way into Latt's mid-Wilshire apartment on Monday evening and opened fire, killing him. Investigators say Mitchell had been living in her car and allegedly targeted Latt because he was friends with a woman she had been stalking. Mitchell could face life in prison if convicted. Now a story you will only see on KTLA 5. A Granada Hills resident is now talking about a violent burglary at his house. This is surveillance video of that homeowner chasing four suspects who he says he caught inside his house last night as he returned home from shopping with his wife and their newborn baby. He says the suspects eventually pulled out a gun, opened fire, causing him to back off. He says they took off with more than $150,000 worth of stolen items from his house.